we are going to to try to talk about the limbo gasoline transmission and we are going to check the comparison with the with the inboard diesel the inboard diesel in my opinion is the most simple transmission is too too simple and once again the only that you need to verify periodically is uh, the quality of the oil what other uh, additional to the oil what other external factor can affect the performance of the transmission is the pitch of the propeller too much axial 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 force this is not good and uh, what is the symptom in those transmission is noise on the bearings because the bearings are working with axial force a lot all the time because it's over pitch how you know that uh, in my inboard transmission uh, I have problems with the bearings and uh, where is uh, documented that issue the knock sensor of the engine is activated when you remove the transmission for service the guy in the shop said hey my friend uh, what pitch are you using in that boat what boat is that no it's a hatteras ta 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 okay what is the pitch recommended for the manufacturer it's in between this and this uh, what is the actual pitch that you have yeah this is why the bearings the chimes are destroyed too much pitch on the propeller you remember when this uh, cover of the housing was out that a butt clutch pack the gears the diameter of the of the gears are equal Butt clutch packs are equal are identical can i put this one here or here yes one word for forward and other word for reverse but the butt clutch packs are equal. What is the meaning of that? You remember some years ago in gasoline inboard, you say, oh, I need to replace my starboard inboard gasoline Mercruiser engine, uh, but ah, this is right side rotation or left side rotation. Today, no. Yeah. Today, no. Today, both of them rotate right side, no? Both of them rotate right side, and you change the rotation in those gasoline engines in the transmission. No? Okay, later I'm going to explain how you change that. This is in gasoline. Everybody follow me? This is a very important information. Today, all the gasoline inboard engines, all of them are right side. Ah, you, you, you change the sense of rotation in the transmission, all right? In gasoline inboard. In diesel, all the diesel engine rotate, is, I think that is clockwise. All of them, all of them and you change the sense of rotation because you have one propeller like this and other like this on the transmissions. But it's too simple. Pay attention. Because suppose that this transmission is in the port side and I am going to connect my cable that uh, this one be forward and this one reverse. Ah, in the other one, I connect the cable opposite with this one forward and the other reverse, but it's the same transmission. You, 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 you understand? I can use this transmission with this position for forward and this for reverse or vice versa. This one for forward and that one for reverse. Because it's the same gear ratio in both of them. Anybody follow me? Only the mechanisms, how you connect the cable, like this or like this. You change the position of the cable entering. Ah, it is with solenoids. You remember the solenoid yesterday? One solenoid have the label forward and the other one reverse. Oh, I want to change. You change the solenoid. You know? Finito. This is in this type of transmission. You remember yesterday on in the previous classes, we mentioned the manual transmission, automatic transmission. And uh, we did the comparison with the automatic transmission, uh, automatic transmission. And uh, we checked the, the, in the manual transmission where is located the oil pump. You remember where is located the oil pump in manual transmissions? No oil pump. Why? Wow. Because it splashes the oil when the gears are moving. No? You don't need a dedicated oil pump. And uh, you remember in the automatic transmission uh, yesterday, after, after the torque converter, the first element that you found it over there, after the torque converter, because the torque converter entered here. This is the input shaft of the automatic transmission, no? The torque converter entered here. This is hollow, no, guys? <laughs> The torque converter enter here, and what is this? If you disassemble this element, you found that this. What is this? 
You remember in your class of diesel, what is this? The oil pump. Where is located? In the oil pan. Submerge it in the oil, suction the oil, and send the oil at high pressure here. The oil pass number one for the bearings of the crankshaft. Number two, bearings of the camshaft. Number three, through the hydraulic lifters into the rocker arms and go down again for gravity. <clears throat> yes or not? That's the path of oil. Okay. What type of pump is this? It's a gear pump, internal gears, gear with gears. Positive displacement pump. Look at this. The oil enters here and goes out here. The oil enters here and goes out here. Everybody follow me? Who drives this pump in your diesel engine? Here, the chaff of this is connected with? This one is vertical. It's used in, in inboard gasoline also. You finished gasoline 20 minutes ago. Here, enter the distributor. You, you see? You see? The distributor. Ah, and the distributor have other gear engaged with the cam chaff. Ah, the cam chaff move the distributor and the oil pump. In some diesel engines, here you have the chaff for the rotary fuel injection pump and the cam chaff also. That, that's clear, guys? All right. What type of pump is this? Gear. Internal gear, positive displacement pump. The oil enters here and goes out here because the, the the gears compress the oil and send at high pressure. What about this pump? What about this pump, guys? What is the name of this pump? The oil enter here, enter over there, the oil is compressed in this half moon or crescent. Ah, this is a crescent pump. The oil enter here, is compressed, high pressure, high pressure, and goes out here. Enter here and goes out here. Anybody follow me? What is the name of that pump? Crescent pump. Positive displacement pump. Which one is more efficient? I think this one, in comparison with the other one, internal gear. Okay, excuse me. What is the name of that pump? Crescent pump, po positive displacement pump. Excuse me. I opened the pump or other transmission, and I found that with those, those, the blades, the blades going out, for centrifugal force. What is the name of that pump? It's rotary blade pump. Work pretty similar than the crescent pump, but uh, those blades, what happened with those blades? Those blades with the centrifugal force goes out and compress, look. One is input, uh, one is input and this is output. The oil enter here, is compressed and send it here at high pressure. This is a rotary blade pump, positive displacement pump. Okay, in some cases, in some cases, inside of the pump, when you open the pump, you found the crescent pump or rotary blade. Which one reach ultra higher pressures? The crescent or the rotary blade? The rotary blade. Some fuel injection pump, rotary, internally is with blades. 7,000 PSI or higher. Uh, what is this? The planetary gears, no? Uh, what is the name of the chap that enter here in the middle? The sun, yes. no? Could be input in some cases or output, depending what I select. This is the? The planetary chap. And uh, ah, look at the other one with the planets, no? This is the sun, those are the planets, and this is the? The ring. And uh, normally the ring have another here with a band. With a band. What is the function of the band with a solenoid? Yeah. Band? Stop the, the ring. Yeah. One band per each, per each planetary gear. Oh. Each set of planetary have one band. Only to stop the ring. You remember, with one set of these, how many gear sets can I have? Two, Two in forward and one in reverse. In this transmission, the diesel transmission, how I produce forward with the close pack for forward. How I produce reverse with the other close pack for reverse. Yes or not? Ah, okay. In this transmission, in the gasoline transmission, they have one close pack and one set of planetary gears. With this set, they have one band 
to activate reverse, and the other one is forward. That's okay? This one, how many close pack have? Two. This one, only one. And one set of planetary gears. You have planetary gears here? No, because you have two close packs. In this one, you only have one close pack and one planetary set of gears. That's okay? All right. In this one, where is located the pump in this transmission? We're That's the pump. Yes, right. What is the other name for that pump? PTO. PTO. Power? Take off. Look at this. Ah, this transmission, the inboard gasoline transmission, is pretty, pretty similar to the automatic transmission. What is this? The pump. The oil pump. If I remove those four bolts, I have what? Look, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have. Ah, the crescent. Ah, the crescent. I have the crescent pump. Exactly the same like the automatic transmission. Ah, where is located the pump in this, in this type of transmission, marine transmission? And you remember when I explained the pump, look at this. This is input. The oil entered here, is compressed in the crescent, and returned here, and this is the output. Pay attention. I mentioned you how is the process in this transmission, the inboard diesel transmission, hydraulic transmission. Both engines have the same transmission. Both engines, starboard and port, they have the same transmission. How? This transmission in the port side is spin clockwise and the other, the other one counterclock. Ah, because I connect the cable for this, entering here. In this one, I use this one for forward and this one for reverse. In the other one, opposite. I use that one for forward and that one for reverse. You understand? Because both clutch packs are identical. This is in, in diesel, inboard diesel. Ah. Uh, Mr. Lopez, uh, my inboard diesel transmission is not with the manual handle, it's with solenoid. Ah, you switch the solenoid for this transmission. In inboard gasoline engines, of course, the engines, both engines rotate the same sense of rotation, and you change the sense of rotation in the propellers in the transmission. Pay attention. In this moment, the input of the oil pump is here and the output here. Ah, that mark is here. If I change the position, the input here and output here, now the transmission is clockwise. And, the, and when this mark is here, it's counterclock. It's in the position of the pump. Nice, no? It's here in the position of the pump with this reference. One counter clock and the other. You don't need replace the engine for other engine counter clock and other engine clockwise now. 